Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbro's Gaming Channel. I am the dude and we're about to play Conflict of Nations World War 3. We're just going to find a new game now. I'm, I'm still playing the Israel solo game. I'm still playing the Iran game. But I figured I want to play another one. So I'm going to start off another game and we're going to see what country we can be. So we've got 35 out of 64 players already in there. Let's join. <clears throat> Let's see what's available for us. So we've got Angola. Austria is an interesting one we've not done before. Chile would be interesting because that's... I've definitely never played that before. Oh yeah, let's do Chile. Nice. Oh, this is such a skinny little piece of land. <laughs> right, let's have a look. What we got? Um... We obviously have to attack Argentina as soon as we can. We've got to take the south of this place. So let's zoom in a little bit and see where our contacts are. We're probably going to get attacked by Bolivia. Um, although it might be computer controlled. And if it is computer controlled, we'll keep armies here. I think Bolivia will be, in fact. So we better go in for the kill across here so let's get some research started again i want to try out some new tactics here so i'm going to try and do things we've not tried before to a point we obviously want our basic infantry we know that's what how we like to play so we're going to get our basic infantry sorted although we have got access to mechanized infantry straight away which is quite interesting hmm well, that tank destroyer. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I see. Main battle tank we can get on day two. Um, I never really go helicopters. Should we change out our bombers for like helicopters? We want to get some anti air. We're going to give up the artillery because we always go artillery. Let's try out. We've got mobile artillery. Should we try that out? Let's see what that's like. We can get that on day two. Um, yeah, yeah. We'll look at other things. Okay, let's just let's go for it. Let's go mechanized. Interesting. And then we'll also get the recon vehicle. Mechanized with a recon vehicle should help out because they're good with armored vehicles. Cool. See how they play together. So they're going to be working on that. Oh, one thing I didn't check. It's like, when can I make them? Army base level 2. Oh, I've trashed myself already, haven't I? I've shot myself right in the foot. Okay. Let's get all the army base level 1s going straight away. And what we'll do is we're actually going to play this one a bit slower than normal. We'll wait for those mechanized infantry to be done. We're probably going to lose some land. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Although... How tempting is it to try and take this one? That's right next to us. I think we should. Alright, let's just go do it. Let's go do it. We'll send these up to there. Sounds good to me. And we'll actually send these across. We're going to cut off Patagonia at the, <laughs> at the bottom here. Um, that's my plan. They're probably going to be trying to get to me. And I'm going to go to them. So, yeah, maybe we won't slow down. Let's go here. We'll try and cut them off on some of their lands. And we're going to have to get ready to join in the fight. See, now they're close, so they could be coming at us sooner. Um, but we're just going to hold the seas. Screw it. We'll just hold the seas see what happens if we can get some 
bits and pieces started would be nice. We're going to need supplies and we're going to need components straight away. So we'll do those two. And it looks like we've got all our bits and pieces done. So we'll start building the level twos that we need. Although we're out of fuel. Ah! Where's our fuel one? Down here. Can't even build that. Oh no. It's a great start. It? Buy up some fuel. Pop. Let's get a level one industry going on there. And then we need to get some more fuel to be honest with you. How much cash have I got? If I would buy that how much does that leave us? A thousand. Right, go on then. So we're upgrading the fuel, the components, and the supplies. And we're going to be cutting off Patagonia. Am I saying Patagonia? What? Why did I say that? What did I see that I thought was Pat? Alright, I'm being dumb. <laughs> we're going to cut off this one. What on earth? I don't know where I am. Help me. Right. Um, so what we'll do is we will send this jet out once these get nearer. So they're going to be breaking in in four hours. Once that has happened, we will send these to go scout out Mendoza. And then we'll bombard it. These guys will be running down here. And I'm sure they'll start sending troops towards us to try and take back their lands or take our lands. So... Um, that's why we've left the troops up there. So we'll see what happens. There's all our information there. Well, this is going to be quite a good game. I think it's going to be quite exciting to take the South America. I've never done Chile. My land mass is absolutely ridiculously tiny. But I love a challenge. You know how it is. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I'll leave that one here and I'll see you in day Hello all and welcome to our Chile playthrough on Conflict of Nations Day 2. As you can see, we have a fight going on with Argentina and Brazil. So let's dive in and see. We've lost land, we've lost our capital city. We have taken this city from Brazil. Because they've come over and started capturing land. So we've got to hold that one. Um, they're... Con they're, they're moving to conquer those lands, right? And these guys need to get up into that city there. Now, I think they're just sending their troops through and leaving a wake, which they'll probably mop up from the rogue state later. So we're going to try and move to conquer these cities back. We are trying to take our land back, which is going okay. Managed to take this one back and some of this land, which is good. And we shall conquer these lands back also. Right, this one's still being bombarded, which is a problem. I need to make my troops. But hey, once they knock out the barracks, we'll rebuild it. That'll take a few minutes, and then we'll get a few hours of this done. So um, eventually we'll, we'll get there. These are such low health. I fear for them. If we can build a hospital here that will probably be a good thing just to speed up the recovery there I'm gonna go with that Whoosh. hospital on there we've already got stuff being done here nice I can't do that why not army base level one ODR we're a bit poor no worries it's not the poor that is the issue right research wise we have our basic mechanized infantry they are done so we need to start pumping some of these out problem is they're expensive but this is the way we're going to try this game we have our recon vehicle which we are building a bunch at the moment we have jeopard which is our aa so these are all things that are going to go together and we haven't done anything else just yet Except, did we do... No, not yet. I will be doing that also. Um, this is going to be one heck of a fight. We've got to fight Argentina and Brazil at the same time. Brazil seems like they have 
a plan. So that's scary. We're bombarding these at the moment. Once that's clear, we'll take that city back and the land around it. And they are bombarding us. So it's <laughs> it's going to take some time. But as long as we persevere, I think we'll be all right. We just need to get out the next batch of troops, which are going to be done in a few hours. And we can start sending them in. We can't conquer land with them, but we can start fighting back, which is going to be handy. And we'll just push them all up into Brazil's lands and block them off while we clean it up. Um, we'll see what happens with them. They're probably sending more around as we speak. Let's have a look at our events. Um, looking good. Province entered. Enemy defeated. Nice. Where was that? Oh, that was there. Cool. Yeah, we did have a bit of a fight. Enough of my troops can't handle. Yeah, no. Argentina's already put... Why have they put that down? Okay, Argentina didn't know what they were doing. They've put local industry down. To me, that speaks of new player. Let's have a look. Because I did it. Um when I started playing. Hello? Where'd it go? Ha! Hello, rank one. Yeah, okay. This could be their first game. Because it's misleading, when you go on these things and you push on this, it says local industry. You think, well, what's that do? Okay, should only be constructing provinces containing resources. And you're thinking, okay. Increases resources, but not manpower and money produced in a province. Build and destroyed when conquered. Right? So some people see that there and they think, oh, that's in that land. So I'll build one there. Like that. Is that in there or is that shared? But no, these are in, they put this resource at the end of the city name. And that's what's built in the city, as you can see down here. Okay? When you see them like this all out on their own with no writing, that's the land. So um, be careful what you spend your resources on, guys. Right, cities-wise, I'll show you what we're doing. We're building hospital, hospital, which you just saw me place. We've got industry going on here, which we took this city back. And we have three recon vehicles pumping out. A level two barracks going on there. We need more stuff. I've got such little fuel, it hurts my feels. I should probably build boats, but I don't think I'm gonna. Not yet. I'm not. I don't want them. We'll get them later. <sighs> Patagonia is what I was saying all about yesterday. That's below this. I thought it was this silly boy. Uh, okay. Well, there's not much else we can do. It's all a matter of waiting. These will conquer that. We'll spread out and conquer some of the lands. This one will conquer these, and hopefully we can get into that city, but they've probably got troops sitting in it. Um, where we'll probably have to send some recon vehicle down to help out. We could start that off now, actually. Go meet them there. And then we'll conquer our city back, and then we shall be pushing out. Hopefully I'll have something nice to show you on day three, guys. I'll leave that one here, and I will see you then. Hello all and welcome to day three of our chili playthrough on Conflict of Nations. This has been a, a busy one, this has. Um, as you can see, we're losing land all over the place. They're actually bringing artillery up now. Brazil has come for us hard. Uh, this is not good. Our fuel's not looking good either, is it? Yeah, dear. We're about to win that fight, but only just. We have more troops heading this way. I've got these troops heading that way, but clearly there's something moving around here. I don't think we can win that fight at the moment. Right, so as we can't win that fight, let's go push into this one, maybe. Maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. Let's get that artillery piece in the city for extra protection. Because we're going to have our work cut out for us here. 
and unfortunately we were too slow to save to save these ah nightmare right let's just hunt them down you go get them just do some damage to them man this is just crazy they have gone for me so hard hmm oh no Ambers, they've come in that side as well. I don't know. What? They've obviously gone up from around on the sea. They'll probably be taking this one next. Okay. We're going to have no cities. Brilliant. Oh, challenge. Let's have a look at our events. This is not good. Not good at all. I don't know how I can turn this around with the amount of resources and things. We're actually losing resources per hour. Oh, not good. No, no, no. Do I have the National Guard? I don't even have National Guard researched. Ah, no. That's what happens when you get met with a good player nearby. You've got to react faster than I have. Mental. Right, okay. Well, these are going to be eight hours till they get there. These are going to be, holy poop, they're going to be delayed. Oh no. No, I don't do that. Okay. No, just stay there. Once they get there, we'll push this one in. So how long does it take for you to get in? 34 minutes so once this one is within about half an hour we'll push that in hopefully these guys win the fight but that's going to be slim pickings in it when you go against something in defense depends how weak this one is we'll do what we can it's just gonna struggle i mean we could use gold and push it in our favor but to be honest with you i don't want to use gold so um no 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 we're not going to win this fight because they have the bonus, as you can see, damage reduced by 25%. And we're not at full health. So, I think we're doing the best thing by leaving. Oh no, cancel that, you fool. This is going to move up and trash us here. Luckily we've got an artillery piece to fire back, but... Oh, it's going to be horrible. You can hunt them down. Alright, I'll leave that one here, guys. We'll see how we go. But um, i got a feeling we're on a losing one here. I'll see you on day four. Hey all, and welcome to day four of our chili playthrough on Conflict of Nations. And as you can see, things look terrible. Absolutely terrible. Man, we are going to set this waypoint up for this guy. Um... Oh wait, what's the point in that? Oh, we have control of that city. Um, oh, this is not good. Brazil have whooped us, man. I mean, credit to them. I think they must have used gold. They've just rushed through. Um, with seems like endless supply of troops. <laughs> That's nuts. But, hey, managed it. Right, what we'll do is we're going to take this city back and then we'll go down for Serena, which is Argentina. Or we could go up to Inguiri. I don't know. This is my last infantry. The only thing that will actually control land. It's mad. If I lose this, and I'm not going to be... Oh, wait, there's one over here as well. But that's like 1.8 health. Uh, oh, I don't know what to do. Screw it. We're going to march him up there. Hopefully take some land back. We'll probably take him up here to take this land with the recon vehicle. And hopefully we'll have another one. Oh, wait. Yeah, by the time we do another recording, then possibly have another one. And we'll go north and take that back. And then we're going to push back through south and hopefully start building some more troops up. 
Our resources are diabolical. This is not going to be good, man. Literally going to conquer this and leave because we're going to leave it in the hands of the recon vehicle to sort of keep the morale in check. I've got to get some cities back just for the resources alone. But the way they've pushed me, unless these go rogue state, which I'm hoping that they do, there's not much I can do. If they rogue state, I mean, that's, that's a good thing for for us it'll buy us a little time from brazil to clear up some of the land um but man credit to him nothing i can really do just got to see what happens Oof, got 68 events yeah we lost some men here yeah you see we, oh. i sent in we had a bombard unit here, didn't we? That's what it was. And they conquered that. I had that recon vehicle coming up from behind them to try and help. And that's all dead. I don't. I can't see us being much apart with what's here. If they didn't use gold, there's a chance that they don't have much left remaining here. Um, and it's a bit of a race. I'm hoping that Whoever's up here is giving him some hell. But he's not pushing up there, is he? Okay. Well, we'll see what happens, guys. There's nothing I can really do for this. We've just got to play it out. I'll, I'll leave it here, and I'll see you on day five. Hello, all, and welcome to day five of our Chile playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Okay, this has been such a back and forth, guys. This is terrible. Um... Brazil is all over us. I think they're probably using gold to buy their troops because there just seems to be an endless amount. Uh, we're going to lose that land, probably that one. We'll see what happens. But we have made an extra recon battalion. That's all we could really afford to do. Um, I think we've, we're just going to fail this soon. But we'll see what we can do. I mean, if I can get this there quick enough. You know what? I'm going to rush it. I'm up 3 hours, 47 minutes. If they can make it there, that'll win that fight. And then we've got a chance. We've got our one troop here that can conquer. So we're taking it down to the city there. We've taken back this little northern part. Which is just madness. We're going to build an arms industry there. Because we just need some resources, man. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the research for National Guard. And we got the research from <laughs> Mechanized, which um, are just expensive. Was There's nothing I can do. You know, let's have a look. Look at this. Cash-wise, we can't even afford anything. Absolutely terrible. It's a lot of back and forth. We're not going to give up. We're going to keep on going until we are wiped out or they have gone from our land but <laughs> i got a feeling we're gonna lose this is um this is definitely interesting if we come out at the end of this we're gonna be so far behind it'll take a while to sort of gather our momentum again but we'll see what we can do uh once we've gone here we're just gonna keep marching so they're gonna reach there in three hours odd I'm actually just going to take them straight down to go and um, take these. If they rebel, they rebel, but at least they won't belong to um, the enemy. Oh wait, that's actually... that's Argentina. Let's go there to there, and then go into there. Oh wait, no, that's... That's rebelled as well. This one's not smoking. That concerns me. Oh well, we'll we'll just do that. Get involved and get some resources back in the game. We'll see what happens because I know there's m a lot more troops floating around. There's a cut. I think there's a stack of two here somewhere. Um. 
obviously if that starts joining the fight here or if the stack 2 goes for this there are going to be potential issues we have a small bonus defending the city but that's, um, that's a small bonus we'll see what we can do I need to get rid of them alright well we'll see what we can do in between uh, this is a hard one guys but thank you very much for watching I hope you are enjoying it if you are please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more daily content and I'll see you on day 6 the dude is out